In a city with a long and traumatic war history like Berlin, you don't have to look far to find old bunkers. In 1977, this subway station was constructed as an atomic bunker to protect 3,500 people from a possible nuclear attack by the Soviet Union. Behind this door, the Cold War seems still very real. Every people who come in here should get um, a few things which, are, is, which he needs, uh, or she needs. Um, two rolls of toilet paper for two weeks, uh, a piece of soap, a, a towel, and um, a, a bowl and a cup. The bunker was designed so people would have enough oxygen, water and food for two weeks, hoping the worst radiation would be gone by then. For decades, the government maintained hundreds of these bunkers. And since 2007, nobody's spending a, a, a cent anymore because we believed in Germany the threat is over. Not many in Germany had expected just a few months ago that something like this would possibly be needed again. An underground emergency kitchen well hidden behind thick concrete walls. But with a threat from Russia becoming more real in people's minds, some here realize the country is not ready. Not only have old bunkers been neglected, many have been sold and found new destinations. Like this one, which now is a museum for Asian art. Others have turned into galleries, nightclubs or private houses. The nearly 600 bunkers the government still owns are not ready for use, according to military experts. It would be reusable within a particular financial constraint. They're going to have to spend money. This whole thing is a very vastly expensive undertaking. The thought of needing to seek shelter in a bunker feels unreal to some of those who just finished a tour. Um, uh, overwhelming to see how, how, how dark it is, how, how, how the feeling must be in, uh, uh, in the war when you hear outside uh, the planes, the bombs. We have had so many decades of peace in Europe. This is a very difficult situation. I hope there will be a peaceful solution to all of this. Even in the heat of the Cold War, Berlin could only protect 27,500 people in its bunkers on a population of 2.1 million. So the government's plan to upgrade them is seen as a way to reassure its citizens, rather than aiming to offer protection for everyone. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, in Berlin.